This video is part of a series of enabling and activating multi-site in WordPress. In this video, you'll learn how to allow multi-site um, or tell WordPress to allow you to create a network. So what you're going to do is go ahead and get into your cPanel just like I am here and what we'll need to do is access the wp-config file and that is a uh, WordPress file and we'll need to edit that file to add a rule that says dear WordPress please allow me to create a multi-site network so what we're going to do here is go down to the files box and choose file manager and when you do that you'll get into your cPanel file manager and you can see that all the files listed here are all the WordPress files in my root directory and what we'll need to do is click on the wp-config.php file but just a quick note uh, if this is your first time going into file manager you may receive a window that pops up that asks you what you want to um, show and you want that to be uh, web root which is what we're in right now the root uh, of our server and also you want to check mark show hidden files because there are some files in here that are hidden that we will need to get to um, a little later so you go ahead and click on the WP config file and then you're going to go up here and you're going to choose code editor and what it'll do is it'll uh, pop up a window uh, asking you uh, what f uh, character encoding you want to use. Just leave it at the default. Go ahead and click Edit. And what that does is it opens up your wp-config file uh, in a, a, an editing window. So what we need to do is we need to add a bit of code here, and it's in the manual that, that you can get to. Um, and we need to add that code right above this line here, line 83 on this installation. That's all stop editing happy blogging. And what we need to do is define that we would like to allow multi-site. So we've added that one line. Simply choose save changes up in the upper right. We've made a successful change and that's it. Now we've just told WordPress to allow us to create a multi-site network and we'll show you exactly how to do that in the next video.